that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. After exposing the deepest secrets of our cosmos and redefining age-long concepts in astronomy, the James Webb Telescope is now challenging the Big Bang Theory, the most reliable explanation for how our universe came to be. Could the Big Bang really be a hoax? Even for the most advanced experiment tools like the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, building a galaxy from the ground up is no easy task. So imagine the sheer cosmic power required to produce the hundreds of thousands of galaxies that exist in our vast universe. According to historians, the universe needed around 350 million years to form the first set of galaxies. Compared to the gigantic galaxies that astronomers observe today, the earliest galaxies were just about the size of tiny specks. But they were quite important in the evolution of what we've come to know now as our universe. Recently, the James Webb Telescope spotted six of these ancient galaxies that contradict conventional knowledge about our universe and the elements that exist within it. This discovery has left renowned astronomer and theoretical physicist Michio Kaku scratching his head. And if someone who understands the space-time continuum better than most of us is puzzled, then you know this is serious stuff. According to the available data provided by the James Webb Telescope, these galaxies were formed way too early, and some of them were endowed with a mass of stars that's several billion times larger than the average. In fact, one of these mysterious galaxies is believed to weigh around 100 billion solar masses. That's nearly twice the mass of our very own Milky Way galaxy. Even the legendary Michio Kaku believes this discovery is outstanding and will further improve our knowledge about the universe. And in recent times, cosmic scientists have described these galaxies as universe breakers, because if scientists are eventually able to validate their existence, it would change our understanding of galaxy formation forever and possibly overrule some of the world's most trusted cosmological rules. According to what the Big Bang Theory tells us, our whole universe was nothing more than a tiny ball, otherwise known as the point of singularity, around 13.8 billion years ago. So, how did it become this huge structure we live in today? Thanks to a wild explosion, this tiny ball became very hot and began to expand and grow exponentially. In just a few milliseconds, it expanded by a factor of 10 to the power 78. As the reaction cooled down, matter began to form, and a magical thing called recombination occurred. Electrons and nuclei combine to form atoms, and the universe becomes transparent. But then came the Dark Ages, a time of cosmic darkness before the arrival of stars and galaxies. Around 150 to 400 million years later, the universe escaped this cycle through a process called reionization. Around 9 billion years after the Big Bang Theory, our solar system came into existence. From then on, things got even more interesting as odd galaxies, which defy 99.9% .9 of our cosmological models, started popping up out of nowhere. These galaxies are so old that even dinosaurs couldn't have been around when they were formed. In recent times, research has shown that some parts of our Milky Way galaxy were formed about 800 years after the Big Bang, which is much earlier than astronomers and scientists previously thought. To arrive at this unconventional and perplexing result, scientists surveyed hundreds of thousands of stars. As we all know, the Milky Way itself is a bundle of mystery events and elements. This includes our Sun, which is believed to have formed some 13 billion years ago, and the inner halo of our galaxy, which was born when our Milky Way galaxy collided with the Gaia Enceladus galaxy sometime between 8 to 11 billion years ago. While these stunning discoveries have challenged our understanding of cosmology, they also expose the discrepancies between the amount of normal matter and dark matter, which has added to the puzzle of scientists and astronomers. But how did we arrive at this conundrum? Are we really set for a paradigm shift in our understanding of the universe, or have scientists gotten their calculations wrong? These questions have been around for quite some time, even as we continue to hope the new technologies like the James Webb Telescope will help solve some of the mysteries that confront us. In doing this, the Phenomenal Space Observatory machine has traversed the length and breadth of our universe 
to unravel hidden gems. Not too long ago, the James Webb Telescope discovered Glass Z13, the oldest galaxy known to mankind, dating back to 300 million years after the Big Bang. This means Glass Z13 is over 13 billion years old. According to recent data, this weird galaxy had a mass that exceeds 1 billion solar masses. But wait, it gets weirder. Glass Z13 has a neighbor, an ancient galaxy called GNZ11. Somehow the universe has paired these galaxies together for a cosmic dance, and it's a privilege that we're able to observe them in depth as we've done in the last few years. But of course, their discovery has far more serious implications for cosmologists and their quest to explore the universe. The discovery of these galaxies has exposed the discrepancies between the amounts of normal matter and dark matter, leaving scientists scratching their heads in wonder. Indeed, some of these questions have been haunting us for a while now, and we hope that new technologies like the James Webb Telescope will help us solve them. But we cannot undermine the contributions of old space observatory gadgets as well, particularly the Hubble Space Telescope and some of its discoveries. Discovered in 2016, GNZ11 is around 13.4 billion years old and is 25 times smaller than our Milky Way galaxy. But remarkably, its star production rate is 20 times greater than our galaxy. With the James Webb Telescope, our ability to detect old and distant galaxies like the GNZ11 has become even better, especially with its infrared capabilities, which allow it to observe and detect objects at longer wavelengths. This is popularly called redshift, a phenomenon where the color of the light shifts towards red as it stretches out over space. Conventional physics describes redshift as a condition where light from distant galaxies appears slightly redder than when it was emitted. This strange event occurs due to the constantly expanding space, which causes galaxies to move farther from us. This singular revelation has changed our entire knowledge of galactic motion. Scientists now know that galaxies are not racing through space. Rather, it's space itself that's expanding. As such, the faster a galaxy moves away from us, the higher its redshift value will be. The study of redshift is quite important, especially because it allows us to literally travel back in time to explore the early periods of the universe, where stars first emitted ultraviolet light, which would have been redshifted into the infrared part of the spectrum. During the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey known as JADES, astronomers explored and calculated distance estimates for four galaxies. Surprisingly, one of them returned a mind-boggling redshift value of 13.2. This suggests that the galaxy has been around since 320 million years after the Big Bang happened. The sheer discovery of this galaxy has caused a major buzz in the world of astronomy. Speaking on the development, Emma Curtis Lake, an astronomer at the University of Hertfordshire, says the science world has been waiting for several decades to find evidence of galaxies that can evolve from nothing to fully formed within a twinkle of an eye based on the cosmic scale. No doubt the discovery is outstanding, but not all high redshift galaxies would be as fortunate as Jade's GSZ-13-0, which was explored during the Jade's project. And speaking about projects, astronomers working on another cosmic evolution survey led by a scientist at the University of Texas thought they had found a mystery galaxy with a redshift of 16.4. Had it been true, this would mean that the galaxy was formed about 240 million years after the Big Bang explosion that created our universe. But after further observation, scientists realized that they had made a mistake and that the redshift of this galaxy was no more than 4.9. This isn't entirely bad, but it's definitely nowhere near a redshift of 16.4, which would have been a record-breaking achievement for the scientists. Critically, the revised data offers much-needed clarification because it confirms that all the distant galaxies discovered by the James Webb Telescope are completely compatible with our current understanding of the universe. With this assurance in place, we can excuse the scientists who made the initial error. Of course, mistakes happen. Even the smartest scientists aren't immune to the occasional slip-up. But in the world of astronomy, one little mistake can have some pretty big consequences. It can cause a mission to fail, endangering lives and costing big bucks. Or like in this case, it can spread false information and create a whole bunch of confusion. But despite all of these distractions, the James Webb Telescope has continued its mission of exploring the cosmos, and you can be sure that someday it will revisit the subject of potential galaxies that are older than our universe.